today we'll be doing the calculation of a compass error using the amplitude method all right so to do that let's take an example so we have the position given to us as 55 degrees 23 minutes south and 100 degrees west the date is 30th of december the year is 2004 the gmt is 10 hours 0, 01 minutes 27 second the sun was rising and the bearing or the compass bearing of the sun was 099.5 the variation given to us is 28.75 degrees east and what we have to do is find the deviation all right so to do that uh, let's start with the solution so from the nautical almanac for 2004 we have to find the declination of the sun for 30th of December and for the GMT of 10 hours, 1 minute and 27 seconds. All right, so let's go into the nautical almanac. So nautical almanac uh, for 2004, 30th of December. If I can see the 10 hour is here. So let me see. That's the 10th hour. Yes, for 30th of December. 10th hour if I take this all the way here to the Sun one you can see that uh, the declination uh, for the 10th hour is here 23 degrees 7.9 south and to the next hour it's slowly decreasing so we will have to apply the D correction value the D value is 0 0.2 even at the bottom of the page here you can see yes so we take the 0 0.2 value and we'll be going into the increments table so first let's write down the declination value 23 degrees 7.9 minutes south and we have to remember that the declination was decreasing to the next hour and the d value is 0 0.2 then we go back so we have 23 7.9 south the declination was decreasing so whatever will be the d value will be subtracting it because it was decreasing to the next hour but we do have to find out the d value for 1 minute and 27 seconds and to do that we'll be going back into the increments page for 1 minute and 27 seconds all right so let's go back into the increments page this is not the one uh, okay so I'm, I'm not doing a good job here so increments page is here 1 minute and 27 seconds so for 1 minute and 27 seconds uh we must go to the front of the page so that will be it here that's right now i'm doing a better job so if i use my marker here so for one minute and 27 seconds we basically go into the one minute column and the v or d correction column and uh, the d value was 0 0.2 for 0 0.2 as you can see the correction is zero here it's zero All right so that's what we'll be using so it doesn't matter whether we subtract or add it's a zero correction so we go back to the calculations we write down zero here and so the final declination value is still the same 23 degrees 7.9 minutes south right from that it's pretty straightforward we use the formula sine amplitude equals sine of declination divided by cos of latitude the latitude is given to us in this question as 55 degrees and 23 minutes and the declination has been calculated by us so we straight away put the values here uh, then we do a sign inverse and then we get the answer as 43.8 minutes 43.8 degrees right now I have named it east 43.8 degrees south and uh, where do I get that from for amplitude is named a bit differently we first take the name of east or west depending on whether the Sun is rising or setting in this case the Sun was rising so as given in the question of course so I have named it east so if the Sun is rising it is east because Sun rises from the east and if some sun is setting we name it west because the sun sets on the west side the south comes from declination as you can see the declination was south so i have named this south so what does this mean is it's east 43.8 south so now i have to uh, get the true bearing from here so if this is north and this is south and this is east and this is west east 43.8 south would be going from east 43.8 degrees uh, to south here now this is 090 is east 
so if i add 43.82090 what i get is 133.8 this is a bit different from the courses the courses are normally taken from the north or south component but over here uh, we are going from the east component and so from east we are going towards south so east 43.8 degrees south and we add uh, 43.8 to 90 which gives us 133.8 degrees right so that gives us a true bearing as 133.8 the compass bearing is given to us as 099.5 degrees that's given to us in the question so here the true bearing is more than the compass bearing so that's why when you subtract it uh, the compass error is east so if the compass uh, is less than the true then it is always east if it is more than true it is west so normally it goes like this compass best error west compass east or compass least error east that means if compass is less than true it would be east right then the variation is given to us in this question as well 28.75 so we have the compass error we have the variation the compass is a combination of variation and deviation so accordingly we just subtract it and if we subtract it uh, then we get the deviation is 5.55 degrees east or you can also call it 5.6 degrees east all right uh, if I need to visualize this a little bit, you can see that the true bearing was at 133.8 degrees to right. The compass was on 099.5 degrees compass. Somewhere here, the C stands for compass. So compass lied on the east side of the true, so that's why your compass error was uh, east 34.3. Variation is the angle between true and magnetic and again variation was east so that means the magnetic was also east of and this is the variation this is the compass error so naturally your deviation which is the angle between the magnetic and compass uh, where the compass is on the east side of the magnetic and this is the deviation is and you can see here the compass error is a combination of the variation and deviation uh, gives you this value here right so go through this uh, video again and go through it multiple times and uh, this is a short question easy to understand uh, make sure you pause wherever you're not very sure what i've done and then listen to it again all right thanks guys